So in the earlier video, we have talked about JDBC in which we have tried to fetch data from the database, right? So in this video, we'll try to implement the, the, the where clause or we'll try to uh, fetch one value with the, oh, we have done that, right? So we have tried to fetch this one, right? Let's, let's try to fetch all the values. So instead of fetching only one value, we'll, we'll say, I want to print all the values. So let me just write the query in MySQL first without any where clause. And if I say select star from student, it will give me whole table, right? So we have one, which is Rani, two Naveen and three Mahesh, right? So now we'll try to print this data using Java. For that, we have to execute a query, which is select star from students without any where clause. And now when you try to execute this query, you will get the whole table, right? So inside this RS, you don't have one column or one row now, you have two rows, also you have two columns and three rows, right? And so let's try to print this. So let's say if I say RS.next, if you are saying RS.getString, it will give you the second column, right? Because it is username here. Let's, let's, uh, let's write the number. So if I say RS.getString1, now this time it will give you the first column, which is user ID. Uh, which is int by the way so let's instead of writing get string we can also write get int which will give you the integer value we also want want to print okay let's let's say this is not name now this is uh user data in which we'll be having both the things we have user we, we have user id will give a colon in between and we'll try to print the username which is get string and in this you have to mention the second column which is two right and here we'll try to print user data so what i'm doing so i'm just firing a query which is uh, select star from student it will fetch the whole table and if i run this query you can see we are getting the first row which is one rani but what if you want to get the second row now for the second row we have we have to again say rs.next because it will shift your pointer to the next row Okay, and again you have to say rs.next, it will, it will switch your pointer to the third row here. And to do that, just repeat this statement, so let's, let's say copy this and paste it here. Okay, we don't have to declare this once again because we, have, we are declaring it once, right? Or what we can do, we can declare it here, we'll say string user data, initially it will be blank, okay? And then, then you don't have to declare it once again, right? Yeah, so now uh, if you have three rows, so you, you have to write this stuff three times. If I run this code, you can see we are getting two rows now. So we, we got one Rani, two Naveen. And if you repeat the same line now, same three lines once again, and if I try to run this, you can see we got three rows, right? So that's how you need to fetch data from the database by writing rs.next every time. But hold on, how many times we will write this? So instead of this, what we can do is we can use a while loop here. So we can say a while loop and no need to mention. Okay. And you can write this rs.next as a condition because rs.next will do, do two things for you because we don't have any method called as rs uh, with that. We don't have any method called as has next, right? Which is there in the collection API. So we need to say next that's the method we have to use for the next record so rs.next will do two things it will shift your pointer to the next row and it will also give you the return it will also return you do we have the other row there if you have other rows or the next row it will it will return true otherwise it will return false and if on this code we got the same stuff which is one rani two Naveen, and three mahesh right so that's how you fetch the whole table but let's say now the next thing we want is we don't want to fetch data we want to insert data into database okay so yeah that will do in the next video so in this video we have talked about how to fetch the whole table using jdbc so in the next video we'll talk about how to insert values into database so thanks for watching and do subscribe for for the videos